Hamilton Day is here. Let's go. We've got three songs today, Guns and Ships, History Has Its Eyes on You, and Yorktown. Now, I want to remind you the 100K challenge is still going, by the way. If we get this channel to 100,000 subs by the end of Hamilton, you're picking a song, I'm cosplaying, and singing it right here on this channel. But first, I got to do one exercise that a lot of you have recommended. We got Lawrence and Lafayette. Lawrence and Lafayette. And... All right, where was I? Lawrence and Lafayette. Okay, now that I've got that down, let's get into it. Welcome back, friends, and a special welcome. Welcome to all the new friends out there. I'm Yo BGS, and yeah, Hamilton has been this wild roller coaster of a musical that I never expected. So many people have been saying that today, Guns and Ships is the song they may be most excited for in the entire musical. Now, I don't know anything about it going in. All I know is it looks like we're gonna be starting with Aaron Burr, right? Leslie Odom Jr. over there in the corner. And here we go. Oh, take two. Here we go. How does a ragtag volunteer arm me in need of a shower? Somehow defeat a global superpower. How do we emerge victorious from the quagmire? Leave I like that we're already starting with a, I always call it a reprisal. I know that's not right, but we're starting with a reference to the original Hamilton. And it's kind of funny. I think it draws a lot of parallels between who Hamilton was as a person when he first got here and what the nation was around the time of their independence. And I'm sure, again, that was intentional. The battlefield waving Betsy Ross's flag higher. Yo, turns out we have. Hey, you said my name, yo. Secret weapon and immigrant. You know we love who's unafraid to step in. He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman. Hey, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'm going back because it sounds like he is literally hitting the ground running here, but the swerve, I had to pause for the swerve. Honestly, I was expecting him to just randomly drop a Hercules Mulligan, and this was gonna be Mulligan's song. Again, for those of you who are just joining, picking up with the series here, I know nothing about these songs going in. I've done my best to say spoiler free. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna step back. I'm gonna lay out, I'm gonna let him do his thing. Who's unafraid to step in? He's constantly confusing, confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman. I'm taking this horse from the plains, making red coats when every blood stains. And I'm never gonna stop until I make him jump up and I'm up and down the remains. I'm not free engaging, I'm escaping, I'm enraging, I'm out. I'm out of the grounds for more fun. Let's go over here. Let's go to the timeout screen for just a second, cause I need, um, has anybody seen my face? If you've seen it, leave a comment down below. Let me know, uh, can I go to Lost and Found and pick up my face? How many people in this audience were doing exactly that, going to friggin' Lost and Found at the set break? What? What? He's had, he's had so few lines in this entire thing. Most of them have been snarky. Give me it one more time, please. Jesus. Yo, turns out we have a secret weapon, an immigrant. You know we love who's unafraid to step in. I'm breathing for him here. Confounding the British henchmen. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting Frenchman. Taking this horse from the plains, making red coats when every blood stains. And I'm never gonna stop until I make him jump up and I'm up and down the remains. Watch me engaging, I'm escaping, I'm enraging, I'm out. And so their balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war at Yorktown. Cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there is someone else we need. I know. Wait, he knew French? I mean, I guess it makes sense because he was also an immigrant. Um. Wow, wait, so act one, we're going to be ending the war. I'm kind of surprised by that. Um, God, he's killing it. He's killing it. It makes it hard to react to. He's just crushing it so hard. But like, again, I guess this 
at this point in the war, the mood that we're trying to set is this is when the U.S. is starting to maybe get the upper hand on the British, courtesy again of the French intervention there. And so Lafayette is, you know, he's win after win after win, stacking them up, and so he's feeling it, and that is where we get this from. Rapping while literally taking a giant leap off a table and not missing a beat. Woo! Ships. And so that balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. Oh, it's back to the okay, it's back to the Hamilton vibe. Like the the original song. I like that. Yorktown. Cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there is someone else we need. I know. So he knows what to do when a trench ingenuity they fluid in French, I mean. Hamilton. So you're gonna have to use him eventually. What's he gonna do on the bench, I mean? No one has more resilience or matches my practical tactical brilliance. Hamilton. You want to fight for your land back? Matches my practical tactical br Ooh. I I still love the way that the lines are broken down. Like again, it's not just da 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 There's just it's so the genius page must set your computer on fire if you try and pull it up. Right hand man back. Get your right hand man back. You know you gotta get your right hand man back. I mean you gotta put the button to that letter, but the sooner the better to get your right hand man back. Alexander Hamilton. Troops are waiting in the field for you. If you join us right now, together we can turn the tide. Wait, Lawrence? Hang on. Lawrence passed the note to a... Is that a British soldier or is that Lee? Because it almost looks like a red coat with the, the accents there who passed it to Burr, who passed it to... Uh, one of the sexy guys we saw a little while ago who passed it to the Skylar sisters who I'm guessing are going to give it to Eliza who's probably going to throw it in the garbage because she doesn't want Hamilton to leave her alone. But in all honesty, I'm guessing that's how it gets to her. I only point that out because a lot of folks have said I need to watch the background in a lot of these. So I wanted to at least try and check that. Who is Sexy Dance Man back here? Oh, Alexander Hamilton. I have soldiers that will yield for you. If we manage to get this right, they'll surrender my early life. The world will never be the mm. same. Mm. Oh my goodness, can we get these one more time too? Good Lord. Again, Washington, and I'm sorry, the, the actor's name escapes me right now. He's in such incredible company. It's funny. He's in such incredible company that he almost gets overshadowed by the other members of the cast opposite what was happening at the real time where Washington was kind of overshadowing everyone else. But that voice is smooth. I have soldiers that will heal for you. So good. If we manage to get this right, they'll surrender my early life. The world. A random aside, I know, and people get mad when I do this sometimes. What do you think he's thinking in this moment? They have to know, right? You think about like when Michael Jordan or Tom Brady is in the middle of those career performances and how they would admit, like I went into halftime, you know, I was just, I was calm, I was collected, and then I came out and I had 75 points. They have to know they're doing, they're doing something magic right here. Like they have to just be going for it. Why is he so sad? Why is he, what? Why is he so scared about Hamilton individually? Doesn't seem like he's worried about Lafayette. Is it because Hamilton's so young? I was younger than you are now. Maybe he's about to explain. When I was given my first command, I led my men straight into a massacre. I witnessed their deaths firsthand. Every mistake 
and felt the shame rise in me. And even now I lie awake, knowing history has its eyes on me. History has its eyes. All right, because we clean segged here into history has its eyes on you. See, the the title of the song kind of spoiled it. He, well, and the fact that he's literally passing the sword, passing the torch on to Hamilton. Although Washington is still the 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 head general in charge here. Um, so guns and ships, amazing, amazing. I'm again, I'm hoping if the hundred K challenge works out, you don't pick that one because. I think I might pass out trying to do that, but I love that it had so many recurring themes of the Alexander Hamilton song in it. And I love that Lafayette, for as successful as he was, he wasn't trying to just parlay that into his own gain. He put his name out there for Hamilton, leading to where we're at now. Tell you what I wish I'd known When I was young and dreamed of glory You have no control Who lives, who dies, who tells your story I know that The company crushes it too I know that greatness lies in you But remember from here on in History has its eyes Okay, I'm digging this here. I'm digging this, digging this in this moment. And something else that's very interesting to me, we've talked a lot about movement in this musical and how Hamilton, he literally, I mean, he goes for it. He leads head first, straight lines right into everything. Burr kind of walks in arcs. Have you noticed Washington almost walks with a limp? Washington moves very deliberately. Uh, again, I mean, listening to this song, like a man who's seen a thousand battles, like a man who's seen more loss than 99.99% of us will in our lives. And I love that touch as well, that they make him, to listen to him here, you'd think he's 75, but he's not. What was that? What is that? Obviously, again, the segue into Yorktown, but that was interesting. <laughs> Remix. The Battle of Yorktown. 1781. Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. In command where you belong. Are you saying no sweat? We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Immigrants. Most people... <laughs> I love that I pause that was just like immigrants. But um, most people, I think, would, writing a battle theme, you think drums. You think maybe the the pipe, uh, the pipe, the like pan flute, you know, or the penny, not the penny whistle. You know what I'm talking about. Like all those old things you hear in the reenactment type things. And yet here we get the unconventional instrument of a piano setting the scene for the Battle of Yorktown. Piano unconventional because it would be hard to lug onto a battlefield, very obviously. And, um... You can take a tour, I think, still of the Yorktown in Mount Pleasant. No, it's the USS Yorktown. Never mind. That's a completely different thing here. Monsieur Hamilton. Monsieur Lafayette. In command where you belong. Are you saying no sweat? We're finally on the field. We've had quite a run. Immigrants. We, we get, get the, the job done. Nah. <laughs> so what are you doing? I go back to France. I bring freedom to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your men. See you on the other side. Here we be again. Let's go. Yo! Wait a minute! 
wait a minute, we're getting a little bit of everything here. You notice the longer the songs are, the more splashes of other things we get in here. Also, setting the table for the French Revolution. Very interesting too. Adrenaline must have kicked in here because they're so nonchalant about going to war, except for Hamilton. Look at Lin-Manuel Miranda. He's geeked out on his, his first battle. Come to my people if I'm given the chance. We'll be with you when you do. Go, lead your men. See you on the other side. Here we be again. Okay. I almost feel a little bit like was it Anthony Fantano here? He rhymed expecting me with expecting comma we. I just, for some reason, I think that's so cool. And again, she's in the background. She's always in the background, which is back of his mind kind of a thing. Okay. Well, that's about as this is about as overwhelming of a success as you could have possibly hoped for. That was quick. Why would you take a loaded musket, by the way, in in a covert operation? Code words Rochambeau, the name of a Frenchman, and also the name of a game where people kick each other in the you know what it is. Wait a minute, there we go, there we go, there he is. As soon as I heard spy on the inside, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'll give him a proper entrance here. Good lord. Let's be honest here. If you had to, mm, if you had to pick a character, if this was, you know, if it was like a video game and it's like, pick your character, you're picking Hercules Mulligan every time. Hercules Mulligan, the man, the tank, the myth. And now, finally, getting the spotlight. I love so much about, this is such a long video and I feel so bad because I know people get mad when I ramble a lot, but good God, this part kills. Born in South Carolina, redefined and brave. We will never be free until we end slavery. When we finally drop the British away, I forget is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay. How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside, that's right. I can leave my ass. Oh my goodness! And he gets like the biggest. If my shot was a, uh, if because a lot of it. Be, I got it. I got it. Because this was their shot. This was the 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 coalescing of all of their different plans in different places succeeding from earlier on. This is when they all came together. But he gets the cannons that are so good. Is there waiting in Chesapeake Bay? How did we know that this plan would work? We had a spy on the inside. That's right. I can leave my ass. Dude, the cannons in my shot got goosebumps! Holy crap, I love that they can drop S-bombs but not F-bombs, by the way. 
I don't know that I'm ready. I gotta air myself out. Gee, many. Crushing it. Let's go. Let's go. I think this rolls into what comes next, but I think y'all wanted me to do what comes next along with, I've got this, the track list over here, along with Dear Theodosia. The, uh, the audience applause trolled me there. Okay, so <laughs> this is a little awkward. I literally just stopped and did my entire outro because I thought this was the end of the song, but don't worry. Um, I looked up the lyrics because I'm like, how can I do this without spoiling the song for myself? And I looked up the, the lyrics to the song and I'm like, all right, I'm still good. There's still another part to this. So we're going to we're going to pick this up where we left off. Fighting a young man in a red coat stands on a parapet. We lower our guns as he frantically waves their white handkerchief. And just like that, it's over. We tend to our wounded. We count our dead. Black and white soldiers wonder alike if this really means freedom. Not yet. So everyone's favorite mouse decided that they didn't like the fact that my video uh, watched a lot of this song <laughs> without commentating on it. I was stunned here. I was stunned because, you know, Washington has got to be so relieved. Hamilton, so relieved that I just kind of sat here with a doofy grin on my face. So I'm coming back in afterwards just to kind of give you some of my thoughts and hopefully get the mouse off my back. Negotiate the terms of surrender. I see George Washington smile. We escort the men out of your town. They stagger home single file. Tens of thousands of people flood the streets. There are screams and church bells ringing. And as our fallen foes retreat, I hear the drinking song they're singing. Ah, you really do forget just what and upset this was you know they mentioned in an earlier song about like taking down a superpower and yeah britain was arguably number one in the world at this point so the fact that they are celebrating a win that they never thought they would get is just it's so awesome i like it oh my god dude and so many people said that this was also at a time in his life when lin-manuel miranda had just i believe started a family at home as well and so you can tell that he feels those lines especially the ones talking about the kids and whoo That's better. That's a much more appropriate end to the song than where I was. The applause break trolled the crap out of me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was, dude, there was, there's been so much packed. Look at that. I'm sweating. There's been so much packed into this 10 minutes of music. Again, I know my reaction was way too long, essentially, um, <laughs> at this point. But what do you say? What do you say? How do you you know, sum up all of what just happened. And it's nigh on impossible to do because he's just killing it. I mean, everyone brought their A game. Nobody's a single step out of place and everything that they're performing just makes you, I don't know, like like I said, every time you start, you get goosebumps. I, I don't know that I could go see this, honestly. I would need to excuse myself. You know, I need to bring a Kleenex, dab my eyes a little bit because this is a ride. This is an adventure. I'm glad we're on it together. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe if you did. For the next ones, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Uh, take care, my friends. I don't know how we top this, but we're going to see what's next next time.